Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Sidek. In this video, I'm going to do the CP Totling test comparison between the Realme GT Neo 2 device versus Realme GT Neo 3 device after Android 13 update. So both phones are uh, right now I'm going to use the CP Totling application with the 100 threads for uh, 30 minutes of time. That is the highest time I'm trying to use 30 minutes in this video. And we'll try to see however uh, with the performance which phone will be having what kind of stability for after a long time of 30 minutes non-stop using with the 100 threads dimensity 8100 and the snapdragon 870 processor which will be more stable we will try to see in this video so in the beginning the temperatures are pretty similar between these both phones and let's get started with this kind of test and we'll try to see which phone has got what type of results and i will be back after some time about close to five minutes of time and right now as you can see friends after nine minutes of time these are the temperatures and graph looks like so uh, it's kind of quite shocking to see because the dimensity 8100 which has got 33 degrees celsius and snapdragon 870 has got 37 degrees celsius as four degrees higher than this device and you can see the performance numbers also that's pretty high when compared with the snapdragon 870 but still even though it has got high performance but still low temperature that's what is shocking me kind of low 34 and 37 so again, I'll be back after some time at the end of the test to see overall test results. So these are the graph looks like between the Realme GT Neo 2 and the Realme GT Neo 3 after 26 minutes and 25 minutes. You can see the temperature is 37 and 38 degrees Celsius. Again, I'll be back after some time. So these are the graph looks like friends between this Realme GT Neo 2 and the Realme GT Neo 3. So you can see after the Android 13 update in the Realme GT Neo 3. And the CPU total up to 84% and 89% but look at the performance scores how it is. And even though it has got the dimensity 8100 which is powerful than the snapdragon 870 but still did maintain very close temperatures as well and even the phone is getting slightly more cooler faster than this device you can see that's something which i did observe in this smartphone and meanwhile signing off friends thank you for watching until instead of more updates and this is a quick comparison cpu dot link test 30 minutes 100 threads between these both phones until instead of more updates and bye